I'm not a single issue person, uh, but I care about life. Uh, I've got this crazy presumption that that God cares about life. The author of life cares about life. But isn't it a strange thing that we've so narrowly defined what it means to be pro-life that we just often think about abortion? Um, And we might be more accurate to say that we're pro-birth or we're anti-abortion rather than pro-life because some folks, they care about life in the womb, but as soon as you're out, they forget about you. But what would it look like to be pro-life from womb to tomb, to see that that abortion does matter, reducing or eradicating abortion, but that's not the only pro-life issue. The death penalty is a pro-life issue. Gun uh, violence is a life issue. Immigration, the, uh, the war economy, all these things are, are life issues. So uh, it, 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 it's a strange thing that in America you can be pro-death penalty, pro-guns, pro-military, and still say you're pro-life as long as you're against abortion. <laughs> So we need to think bigger than that. And this is part, one of the ways that we see the shortcomings of all the parties and candidates. I mean, in the last election, uh, you know, presidential election, uh, Hillary Clinton doesn't have the best track record, in my opinion, on when it comes to life. She was for the death penalty. And Donald Trump, his life ethics a, a train wreck. So like, it's hard to find candidates or parties that are going to... But what if we insisted that... Every issue of life and death, even the, the environment, the Black Lives Matter movement, all of these issues of life, we want to try to care about all of them and see that these are intersectional issues of justice. So, I, you know, here we are in Texas. And part of why I was exciting, uh, a part of why I was excited to come to Texas, is that there there are folks all over this state and all over this country that are rethinking the death penalty. Uh, uh, about half of our executions are coming from this one state, Texas. Uh, and what disturbed me about the death penalty is that eighty-five uh, percent. Uh, of the executions are happening in the Bible Belt. The Bible Belt is the death belt in America. In fact, uh, the more I studied it, I found out that that the death penalty wouldn't stand a chance in America if it weren't for Christians. It survived not in spite of us, but because of us. And uh, so I, I, I look at this generation, and I just saw a study that 80% of millennial Christians born after 1980 are against the death penalty because they can't reconcile it with their faith, with Jesus who said, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. So I'm excited about a generation that's rising up, that cares about life. The Parkland students, the Black Lives Matter movement, folks that are standing up and saying that that life matters to God, life matters to us, and we are going to get in the way of death every time it raises its ugly face.